All right, so I promised you that sooner or later we'll get away from this console and actually work in an editor. And this is where things get tricky because depending on which operating system you use and what you prefer, there might be a, a different kind of editor for your system, for your needs. I'm on Windows, so for me, on Windows, the natural development tool of choice is Visual Studio. And Visual Studio actually has a community edition which is completely free, so you can just go and download it. I use Visual Studio all the time, although in my case, I use a commercial version. But there is a free version. Now, Visual Studio by itself does not support Rust. That's important to understand. It supports C Sharp and VB and all sorts of other languages, but it doesn't support Rust. So in addition to Visual Studio, once you've got it installed, you will also need an extension which actually supports Rust. And in case of Visual Studio, this extension is called Visual Rust. So all you have to do is just download this extension, uh, click the MSI to install, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's going to provide you a certain small measure of support for Rust in this IDE. All right, so I'm just going to run through the setup very quickly. All right, so that actually took a few minutes, but now we're done, so I'm going to fire up my ID and show you how the whole thing looks. All right, here we go. So this is Visual Studio. I'm going to go into File, New Project, and that's where you typically have you know, all sorts of different projects for different languages. The language we're looking for is Rust, so here it is. And you have two options. You can make an application or a library. We're going to work with applications. So I'll just call this Rust Application 1. I'm not going to add it into source control. Let's just press OK here. And then just wait for the project to be created. OK, so this is kind of similar to what we would have if we ran Cargo New because you get an SRC folder. Inside that SRC folder, you get a file called main.rs. And we can also look inside the directory to see what exactly uh, we have in there. So you notice that we have an rsproj file. So instead of a toml, what we end up having is a special project file which is managed by, in this case, Visual Studio. So a slightly different approach. But the advantage is, first of all, you get some syntax highlighting and some formatting. So for example, the FN here is highlighted in blue. If I use some other keyword like I8, for example, that also becomes blue. So it's easier to read the code. You also get some uh, nice formatting. You can sort of indent your code. Like if I put a semicolon here, go to next line, you'll notice it's indented. So it's a lot better than using a plain text editor. And another advantage is that you can run the application right from here. So if I press, uh, in this case, Control F5, what I end up having is an actual console where I execute hello world and sort of see the output. So this is an integrated development environment that I'm going to use. And I recommend that if you're on a different operating system or if you'd like to try something different, then look online for the ID that suits you most. And there are plenty of IDs. There is an Eclipse-based ID. There is an IDE plugin for IntelliJ IDEA. So lots of options for actually working with Rust projects.